right so we have almost completed the preparations of alkenes almost all the combinations are over right so uh, remember one thing student whenever you're learning organic chemistry when you understand or listen to organic chemistry it will be very very easy very interesting also but unless until you practice it on daily basis you will not find it so easy you, it should become a habit to see you get up in the morning brush your teeth or you drink a glass of warm water you go for walking everything is routine because you've been practicing that nothing to learn or nothing to teach you every day but in the same way organic chemistry also should be like your daily routine you should get up every day try to practice what your whatever video suppose every day i'm give, uh, uploading or uh, sending you a video so whatever data you have studied next day morning you need to revise it on daily basis remember every day organic is good for your health we have learned as a child isn't it an apple a day keeps doctor away but i'm again telling you everyday organic is very good for your health i'm telling you very good to, for you to score uh, that 70 out of 70 in your board, board exams done so here next and last preparation of alkene control hydrogenation what is hydrogenation hydrogenation is addition of hydrogen so whenever we say addition of hydrogen what should you remember now hydrogen addition of hydrogen or removal of oxygen is nothing but reduction isn't it so reduction so here for reduction we need some reducing agents specific so i'm going to use here a very important reagent or catalyst called lindler's catalyst so according to the reducing agent lindler's catalyst also i'm going to use right and apart from this i'm also going to use sodium in the presence of ammonia what is lindler's catalyst lindler's catalyst is nothing but palladium over calcium carbonate or charcoal this is your lindler's catalyst done now I'm going to take this and try to hydrogenate. Let me take certain examples and see. Let me divide the board. I'm going to take the first example here. I'm going to take the second example. I'm going to take the third example. Now I'm giving you the basic examples, but you can always try. Keep experimenting with different, different examples as, as and when you study. Now, first of all, I'm going to take the basic alkene ethene. Now I said they're going to, these are going to, whenever you see Lindler's catalyst, you should just add hydrogen. So I'm going to use Lindler's catalyst. I'm going to write like this Lindler's catalyst and or it can be sodium in the presence of ammonia. What are they going to do? They're going to add hydrogen. Where will they add hydrogen? So first important thing is here this hydrogen is added here. They're going to break this bond and do. But here we are preparing alkenes. So I should not take alkenes. I'll take alkynes now. This is done. So one hydrogen adds here breaking this bond and one more hydrogen adds here breaking this bond what do i get i'm going to get ch2 double bond ch2 this is your ethene which i have prepared from alkyne that is ethyne simple now let me take one more example here suppose if i take this example one two three and this is a quite common example which is there also in your comprehensive three plus one four done same example here what is this now let us count one two three four five pent which pent is that one two pent two ion isn't it one two pent two ion the same thing ch3 c triple bond c c2 h5 this is also pent two ion now we said control hydrogenation i am going to control the hydrogenation with addition of hydrogen using different uh, reagents but here suppose in the question paper if you see lindler's catalyst right so that is what is lindler's catalyst it is palladium in, in over calcium carbonate of charcoal in the exam paper, if you see sodium in the presence of ammonia, nothing. Here, the major product. I am going to take the major products only. Simple. What, what will this do? This will add hydrogen. Where will this add? Around this triple bond. This is going to break this bond. One hydrogen adds here and one more hydrogen adds here done so when this has what will happen triple bond will break up and become double bond so let us write ch3 single c double bond c c2 h5 but where is the hydrogen added yes this is where is important now see here ch this c double bond c one two three four your ch3 is here your c2 h5 is here now the hydrogen which is there adds around this carbon here and here what is this product hydrogens are on the same side so this is cis product cis isomer now the same thing if you have 
NaNH3, you're controlling the reaction with sodium and ammonia. What will happen? It's going to add hydrogen. It's going to add in between the double bond, sorry, triple bond, where it will break this triple bond. One hydrogen adds here and one more hydrogen adds here. Same product, C double bond C, but you have to be careful here. Here, what happens is, this CH3 is here only. Now, in, a, in the presence of any NH3, when you are controlling the hydrogenation reaction, you are fixing that. We are going to pick up the major product, it's Lindler's catalyst, the major product is cis isomer. But here, when you take any in, uh, sodium NH3, the major product will become trans. See here, hydrogen and hydrogen are in the opposite direction. So, cis means same direction, trans means opposite direction. So, you will be getting a trans isomer or trans product done so this is called controlled hydrogenation reaction you have to be very specific when your teacher gives you simple she, simply she will give you an alkyne she will give you hydrogen you, you have to see the catalyst okay if it is Lindler's catalyst you get cis product if it is NaNH3 you'll get trans product so this is your controlled hydrogenation reaction students thank you for watching I'll meet you again with the most important reasoning questions of alkenes that is physical properties of alkenes then gradually I'll be taking into you into a chemical uh, concept called chemical properties where I'll be doing comparative study between symmetrical alkene and unsymmetrical alkene so you will not find that in your textbook also I made a tabular column where both I'll be comparing and teaching you so thank you for watching have a wonderful day